Welcome track and field fans. Greg M here bringing to you track and field results of what took place over the weekend. And it was the Velocity Sprint Fest uh, information that I'm going to show you guys a couple of videos. Shelly and Fraser Price was there. The men's 100 meter featured Johan Blake as well as up and coming sprinters on the male side that are challenging for you know to take over where Usain Bolt left off so just check this video out and you know we can go from there all right so stay tuned all right this is the Velocity Fest April 23rd 2022 100 meter men's final and they're off Blake is in lane five Akeem Blake is in lane three Akeem Blake is out Johan Blake is trying to come back Akeem Blake held him off and he ran a, a fast time too. 10.08. Johan Blake 10.11. Third place was a 10.2. So there you go. Blake look a little top heavy. And um, he needs to work on his start because you, you can't keep having these slow starts. You know, not that you want to jump the gun. Because we're looking for the, the, the men's. 100 meter sprint just to take over from um, Usain Bolt and even Blake because if Blake can't make it up for this year and, and get some sharpness going because I would consider this his last go round, you know. There's Blake, way, he was way behind, he had to work hard to catch Akeem Blake and you don't want to have to work that hard because at the Olympic final, world championship final, any major finals, you know, you definitely want to get that start if you want to get that title and that goal. Because you got Christian Coleman, Marcel Jacobs from France, Area Knighton, the up and coming young guy. Um, you got a young man, I forgot his name, from Oregon. He ran a winning the time, but. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here are some results carried by uh, Sportsmax. And it have uh, other meet results that occurred at Velocity Fest 11. That was April 23rd, 2022. And you had the Olympic 110 hurdles champion, Hans Parchment, opened his 2022 season by running 13.20 to win the men's 110 hurdles at Velocity Fest 11 at the National Stadium, Kingston, Jamaica on Saturday. Parchman used an excellent start to win ahead of Rashid Broadbell 13.31 and Michael O'Hara 13.52. Bronze medalist Megan Tapper was also in fine form running 12.80 to win the women's 100 meter hurdles ahead of Crystal Morrison 13.02 and Amoy Brown 13.33. Nine time world championship gold medalist Shelly Ann Fraser Price also made her 2022 season debut in a second place finish in the 200. Fraser Price had her trademark fast start before jogging the last 50 of the race to finish with a time of 22.79. That's just a, a, a starter race, race time in you know, 22.79. Bahamian Antonique Strahan Stry ran a season's best 22.55 to take the win while Natasha Morrison was third in 23.06. Ramona Burchell ran 11.13 to win the women's 100 meter ahead of Jodine Williams 11.51 Crystal Slowly 11.74. The men's 100 meter was won by Akeem Blake in a new personal best 10.08, 2011 world champion Johan Blake was second in a season best 10.11. Kedron Golson was third, 20.20. In the women's 400, Candice McLeod won the section in section A in 51.20 ahead of Geneve Russell, 51.96. And Zandra Brown Barnes also won the men's 400 in a personal best 45.69 ahead of Anthony. Cox 4584 and Demish Gay 4619. 
So the men still got to step up a little bit here. Um, the 200 meter was just a modest 20.56 to win the men's 200 ahead of Keshane Thompson 20.92. Yeah, so the, the men are going to have to step up in the 200 because that's another area that both dominated and we have not found anyone you know stepping up to the plate yet running anything anything impressive the united states guys noah lyles and even christian coleman matthew bowling from university of georgia a couple others a lot of u.s guys are running low 20s and 19 not matthew bowling ran 19.92 Christian Coleman run 19.92 and I think there's already a couple of 19.8s uh, that's already ran on the collegiate scene and professional so you know the 100 meters same thing as I said previously uh, our men gonna have to work hard to get under that 10 seconds and, and to be able to com comfortably run at least low 9.9s and eventually get to under 9.90 because it's not going to be 10 flat that's going to win 100 meter or 400 meter men you know they're going to have to step up and they have to run low 44s if they're going to medal and 43 is probably going to win the uh, men's 400 meter and we have we don't really have anyone in the 800 meters 400 hurdles or females got some work to do or men got some work to do but you know just to give you a little bit of um you know look at what's going on in jamaica and that was again the velocity uh fest uh 11 that occurred yesterday april 23rd 2022 in jamaica so that's it for now folks um as i get more information and and um and results, I'll bring it to you guys so you can keep up with what's going on. All right, that's it.